Storm Pro Pipes are twin walled corrugated polypropylene pipes for non pressure drainage and stormwater applications. These applications include road, rail, land, and housing development, mining, and rural applications. Storm Pro Pipes are relatively lightweight, robust, and can be used in any site conditions. Smaller sizes can be lifted manually. Pre inspection needs to happen for all pipes before installation. Storm probe pipes should be stacked on flat, firm ground, which has been cleared of debris and hazardous combustible vegetation. Pipes should be laid flat on transverse bearers at least 75 mm wide at maximum 1.5 m centres. Pipes can also be stored nested for long periods. Pipe sockets should be supported so that the ends are free from loading. Different sizes are best stacked separately. There are many advantages of flexible pipe, such as strength, flexibility, crack resistance, easy installation, and tough, to name a few. The four main parts of the trench installation are, one, the bedding zone, prior to pipe installation and house connections. Two, side support zone. Three, overlay zone. Four, and the trench fill zone. Trench work should be as narrow as practical. Health and safety are imperative with all trench work, so please manage the risks associated with any trench work. Using crushed rock, sand or other compactable material, add a layer of this material to trench floor. The layer of bedding will need to be level, as per grade required and compacted to support the base of the pipe. Small indentations should be excavated to accommodate the pipe sockets, so that the pipe is uniformly supported. A laser level is the preferred method to achieve optimal fall and grade. A compactor is recommended to be used to ensure good compaction of the bedding zone. Installation takes place after bedding zone preparation. Pipe sizes DN150 to DN600 can be easily cut anywhere along the pipe length, and the same socket system can be used. DN750 and DN900 pipes have a geometrically different spigot end, so if they need to be cut to length, couplings may be required for jointing. Cutting through PP compared to concrete pipe is significantly easier. All connections to structures, houses and other fittings should be installed after the bedding zone and prior to side support backfill. When it comes to jointing, Storm Pro pipes have a simple and effective rubber ring joint system which is easy to assemble, watertight and protects against tree root intrusion. Please be aware of the correct rubber ring configuration dependent on the pipe size. For pipe sizes DN150 to DN600, install the rubber ring by stretching it over the spigot so that it sits between the first and second corrugations from pipe spigot end. DN750 and DN900 pipes install two rubber rings, one in the valley between the first and second corrugations and one in the adjacent valley between the second and third corrugations from the spigot end. Ensure rubber rings are evenly fitted by running fingers around the full circumference of the pipe. Apply a generous quantity of Vinodex jointing lubricant to the inside of the receiving socket. Avoid getting lubricant under the rubber ring valley as that can introduce contaminants to the joint or become displaced during jointing. Insert the leading edge of the spigot into the receiving socket. It is essential that pipes are in a straight line before attempting to make the joint. Double check that the ring and spigot are free from any grit. Do not apply jointing force directly to the socket. Insert a short stub of pipe into the socket. The short stub can be an offcut, 50 mm longer than the socket and can be reused. Additionally, you can screw a piece of timber across the face to assist with force. A rubber ring is not to be used on the insertion stub. Push the pipe home until the spigot end comes into contact with the inner wall of the socket. A leverage tool such as a crowbar is generally sufficient for Storm Pro pipes up to 375 mm nominal diameter. Where applying a jointing force is not practical, consideration should be given to the use of come-along or winch and rope devices. Other mechanical methods may also be used, such as pushing the pipe together with a bucket head for larger sizes. However, caution should be taken for all methods to ensure the socket end is protected by using a short cut-off stub insert. Please note, the jointing force required increases with the nominal diameter of the pipe. Allowing for adequate fall as per velocity and discharge tables in the Vinodex Storm Pro catalogue or as recommended by consultant engineers. Storm Pro pipes may generally be connected to rigid structures such as pits, headwalls and end walls. 
both precast and cast in situ. This image shows a typical entry or exit to a concrete structure. As you start from the pit entry, the spigot will always be the first point to connect, with the installation of the pipe usually going upstream. Vinodex has two systems for making stormwater connections to StormPro pipes, ProGrommets and Pro Saddles. The Vinodex ProGrommet range of stormwater service connections provide 100mm and 150mm diameter connections to StormPro pipe up to 900mm nominal diameter. How to install the ProGrommet? One, drill a hole in the StormPro pipe using the Pro Saw. The hole centre must be located in the valley between corrugations. 2. Use a 127mm hole saw for 100mm connections or 177mm for 150 house connections. Please note the new 177mm hole saw only works on pipe 300mm, 375mm and 450mm. 3. Inspect marking on ProGrommet to ensure the correct size for selected Storm Pro pipe. 4. Present ProGrommet to hole with ProGrommet flange to the inside and locating wings to the outside of the Storm Pro pipe. 5. Squash the ProGrommet by hand so the two locating wings align in the centre. 6. With the flattened ProGrommet, form a C-shape and offer it to the prepared hole. 7. Position locating wings in the valley of the Storm Pro pipe profile. 8. Apply Vinodex lubricant to the inside diameter of the ProGrommet. 9. Insert spigot and socket PVC connection. This connection piece eliminates pipe creep into the system and should always be applied. 10. Attach applicable pipe size to grommet attachment and solvent weld. 11. Now the connection is ready to be buried. How to install the Pro Saddle. Follow steps 1 and 2 of Pro Grommet installations. 3. Inspect marking on Pro Saddle to ensure the correct size for selected Storm Pro pipe. 4. Remove cable ties holding flange on saddle. 5. Place flange over the hole saw area, positioning the predetermined holes over the top of the corrugation. 6. Place PVC saddle over flange without moving flange position. 7. Screw the hex screws through the allocated holes. 8. Replace cap or connect pipe as per normal procedure. Side support is an important next step after the pipe preparation and jointing. Embedment material for StormPro pipes should preferably be granular, free-flowing material. As StormPro is a flexible pipe and its strength comes from its interaction with the soil, placement of material in the haunch and side support zones is the most important part of the embedment process. Using the correct tools to haunch ensures the embedment material is pushed around the underside of the pipe, assisting with the pipe's integrity and overall system strength. Stabilising sand or CLSM can also be used as a backfill material. Placing and compacting embedment material should be placed in the following manner to ensure 1. Uniform distribution and compaction of embedment material, especially under the haunches of the pipe. 2. The material relative compaction is consistent with design. 3. Pipe distortion is minimised. 4. The pipe is not damaged. And 5. The specified pipe alignment, level and grade is maintained. The overlay zone should be a minimum of 150mm of embedment material above pipe. Compaction should be carried at the edges of the trench, avoiding direct contact at the top of the pipe area. It is recommended to use a whacker or a vibrating tool. In non-trafficable areas, the material obtained from excavation can usually be used to backfill the trench to the finished surface. In trafficable areas, refer to the road owner's specification for backfill, sub-base and pavement materials and compaction requirements. During construction, contractors will deal with different heights during the process. Short-term relates to construction loads and long-term relates to finished surface level and the loadings required during these periods. It is important to note the difference between construction heights and finished heights. Refer to the Vinodex Storm Pro Installation Guide or ASNZS 2566.2 for further details and requirements.